Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Jackson County, Ohio, with a sovereign citizen who's just been pulled over uh, for speeding, and he ends up having no valid tag or even a license for that matter. But he faces a no-nonsense state trooper who doesn't put up with any of that BS. But in the end, he thinks it's all a win for him because somehow the charges are dismissed for whatever reason, and he thinks it's a win for him. But in the end, it's not exactly because he gets the rug pulled out from underneath him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and find out the reason why it all came crashing down around him. Uh, what's what you what's the emergency? Uh, as soon as you get the uh, information I'm requesting, I'll give you the information you're requesting. There is no emergency. Oh, I didn't know. Well, what do you need from uh, what was the reason you pulled me over? Registration proof insurance. What was the reason you pulled me over, sir? Like I say, as soon as I get the information I'm requesting, you get works. the information you're requesting. Yeah, lady, you say that's not how it works, but have you actually read any laws instead of that sovereign citizen BS that you seem to be uh, spoon fed by those gurus on the internet? Because Ohio law states otherwise, and the Tenth Amendment backs it up. Well, I, well, I need to know what reason you pulled me over. Okay, and I'm telling you that that's not how it works. Okay, when you give me the information I'm requesting, I'll give you the information that you're requesting. What's your name and badge number? 2015 Ram PK Blue. Tags expired 10-8-22. And he's showing my ballot. That's a ballot on me. I need your license, what, your registration, what, and your proof insurance. What's your name and badge, badge uh, number, sir? My name is Officer Ross, 110. Well, okay. 107, sorry. Okay, what, what, what's the reason you pull me over? You can go ahead and send me another unit. I'm going to ask you for your license. Send the supervisor, sir. On the way. Okay, your license. Well, now the uh, officer seems to be on the ball at this point because he recognized what he was dealing with and already took that into account. So, uh... The uh, supervisor is on the way, but will he make it here in time for uh, whatever the uh, result of this is? Let's stick around and find out. Your registration, your proof of insurance. Mm -hmm. right. Are you going to give to me or do you, do you, do you I don't know why. Arrested? I don't know why you pulled me over for it. As soon as I get the information I'm requesting, you will get that information. Well, I'm that's not, not how it works. That, give you nothing that's incriminating me. I mean, it's not incriminating. Am I under arrest? Stop. Lady, that is how it works. That's Ohio law backed up by the 10th Amendment once again. And you, Sobtard, behind the steering wheel, there is nothing about that information that's going to incriminate you. In fact, it's required that you hand it over during a traffic stop according to Ohio law. So if you could kindly pull your head out of your ass and stop drinking the Sobtard Kool-Aid, you'd realize that. You are detained right now. Yes, you are. For what? Traffic violations. I'm not in commerce, sir. I'm traveling. Okay, I understand. Guess what? You're on Ohio roadways. Uh huh. You're required to have a tag on your trailer. You do not. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling, sir. How would I'm you know that, by the way, you were coming? At 50 mile an hour on the radar. That's a 35 mile an hour zone back there. I'm not. I'm not engaged in, in interstate commerce. Okay. Well, now, my uh, crayon munching friend, do you realize that there is a statute? Oh yes, and uh, well, statutes are laws according to Black's Law Dictionary. Um, that there is a, a statute in Ohio regarding plates, and it reads as the following. No person who is the owner or operator of a motor vehicle shall fail to display in plain view on the rear of the motor vehicle a license plate that displays the distinctive number and registration mark assigned the motor vehicle by the Director of Public Safety, including any county identification sticker and any validation sticker when required and issued under sections 4503.19 and 450.191 of the revised code. And now here's the distinction it makes for uh, commercial vehicles. However, a commercial tractor shall display on the license plate on the front of 
a com of the commercial tractor. Now, if it's if the there's only supposed to be a uh, license plate for commercial vehicles, let me ask you something, my solved card friend. Why does it make a distinction between the commercial vehicles and the non-commercial vehicles in this particular statute? Well, let me just go ahead and answer that question for you. Because all those soft tart gurus that you like to spout off are full of shit. And you need to understand that. You need to read the laws, actually read them, and see that these people are nothing but a bunch of morons that you follow. And you need to realize that you're an even bigger moron for accepting by at face value, what they say. Realize that, take ownership of it, and learn from it, and do better next time. You are. This is Ohio. How would he know no, about sir, the tractor? I have trailer. a right to travel. He was okay. facing us. You're on Ohio roadways. I have a right to travel. Okay. So are you stupid or something? Of course, you have the right to travel, you dunderhead. It's just that the method of travel is the issue here. When you step behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, you are gain a certain responsibility toward everybody on the road. Basically, they don't want any idiot who doesn't know how to drive those things and isn't licensed or insured to do so because what the hell will happen if there's a damn car wreck and there always is a car wreck and you are not insured, licensed, or anything like that. Do you idiots even think about that? No, you're too busy thinking about how to get away with this kind of thing, how to be a tax dodger and everything like that, and not pull your own damn weight. That's who you people are. Just a bunch of lazy SOBs. So, like I say, I need your license, well, well, sir, your registration, I don't... and your proof of insurance. You can give those to me or you can be arrested. For what? For obstructing official business. Sir, I'm not, I don't know what I've done wrong. I haven't even done wrong. I, I just told you the three violations well, I have. Your tags are also expired. But no, you wouldn't have known have, that. Just a bit. Uh, by, fine. By, by I, I, don't, I don't have any, any contract with the state of Ohio. Okay, you do. I, no, I don't. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not tra I'm traveling okay. in my private property. Okay. I understand. I'm not engaged in, in commerce okay. whatsoever. I understand your, your outlook on it. That's not how, how Ohio law reads, okay? Okay, well, write me a ticket and do okay. whatever you got to well, do. As soon as you give me your license, your registration, and your proof of insurance, we can go that route. Well, I don't know what I what, what you know, want. I'm not gonna give you anything that's gonna incriminate me. In, it's in not court. incriminate. You have to do it. It is Ohio law. Not when I'm not breaking a law. It is. You broke the law. I clock, clock, locked you in at 50 mile an hour. To which is which is commerce, hour. right? It's a traffic. No, no traffic is commerce. Read the damn laws, and you will understand that there's usually no distinction between commercial and commerce unless it's under certain circumstances, and then it will tell you if there's a distinction. In this case, you are flat out dead wrong, you freaking moron. Just accept it. Of course, I know you're not going to accept it because I've watched your videos already and you're a complete dumbass when it comes to law anyway. So let's just go ahead and carry on. This is, this is my private okay. property, sir. I have a right to travel. Okay. Well, I understand the way you see. No, that's, things, the way, that's the way the Constitution says it. Okay. No, that's not. Yes, okay. It is, Ohio sir. law was what you have to follow. The Constitution is what you okay. took the oath to Are you going to give me the documents that I'm did, requesting, did you, or are you going to be arrested? For what? What would you arrest for me for? obstructing. I just told you that. I don't have the documents to give you. I don't. I don't know what okay. you want. To want. I don't okay. know what you want. Your license. Your registration. I don't need a license, sir. You are driving on Ohio roadway. I am you traveling. Must. I am not driving. You are driving. I am traveling. You are driving. Well, I can't step up. Yeah. Can step right, there, right here. Put your hands up on me. I don't, I don't, I don't have consent okay. to any searches. Okay. You don't... Well, you may not consent to any searches, but you are under arrest, so uh, consent is not required in this case. But anyway, uh, let's continue on. Now, he posted this video believing that he had won this, but... According to this next video, it's a complete contradiction. If you read it, 
you will understand, he should understand anyway, that it's not a win for him at all. In fact, it's more of a draw, and uh, he still has to uh, get license, insurance, and everything like that. So he didn't win. It was just dismissed, and, well, uh, you will see his utter confusion as to why it didn't work out so well for him. Why he still has to go through the process of getting his vehicle back through registration and everything like that. He is so damn confused, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'll explain it the best I can to you. Right. Um, Sergeant Masters, called Chief, Chief called Prosecutor. 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 Dupree. Randy Dupree. Dupree. He said that in order to get the truck out, they can't waive anything here. You still have to pay tow and storage for the truck, although you've paid for the trailer or some on the trailer at one point. Did you pay like $210? 219 I paid to get my truck and then they wouldn't release it after I paid it. Okay. So, okay, so there's some type of money discrepancy there, but according to the prosecutor, you have to pay those fees to get it out, and you can have it towed. If you do wish to drive it, you have to provide license, plates, and insurance. Mm -hmm. So they took Dupree's order over top of the judge's order, basically? Yeah, that's what it sounds like, yeah. The okay. prosecutor gave us that advice. Okay. All righty, I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, now, dude, I think it's just that you don't understand what's going on here. The prosecutor's uh, order did not uh, beat out the judge's order. In fact, both the judge and the prosecutor are going by the law here. So, by the law, you're supposed to have your vehicle registered and you're supposed to have insurance, and you're supposed to have an up-to-date license. So, dude, like I said, you did not win here. It was a draw. They didn't want to prosecute you, but probably because they had that they have so many other things to do, and unless you're a habitual offender, which you may become a habitual offender, they're not going to waste the time and resources on you. So take this as a friendly reminder or warning that if you do this again, they can and most likely will reopen the case and uh, prosecute you. So, dude, my advice to you is actually study the law instead of uh, being spoon-fed this soft, hard garbage. You still have plenty of time to do this before you may continue to make those mistakes and getting more serious charges. Because in the long run, it's just going to cost you a hell of a lot more money. And it already has cost you money for being so damn stupid. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.